Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and in this video we're going to learn about group by and doing aggregates. Okay, aggregates are a really powerful feature of SQL because it'll allow you to find information like what is like the collective height or what is the minimum height or you know uh, so forth and so forth. So the idea is that you can use it to take a group of data and find a uh, salient sort of reduce it down to a single data point that represents the group of data. Okay, so again, what is the minimum in this group of data? What is the average of this group of data? What is the maximum of this group of data? And so forth. Okay, um, and this can be pretty useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new table. But to make it easier to kind of create the table and set up all the new information, we're going to create a CSV file for, for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new CSV file. So just create a new file. We'll call it teams.csv. Okay, and then in here we'll just have, okay, um, We'll have ID. Okay. Um, we'll have the name of the team member. We'll have which team are they on, and ID name team and the points that they've scored. Okay. So first we'll have one Steve who's on the blue team. who has scored six points. Okay, and two will be John, who is on the red team and has scored nine points. Three will be Rosie, who is on the blue team, who has scored 10 points. And four, Rosie, um, Actually, we already have Rosie. We'll have Laura, who's on the red team, who has three points. And then we'll have five. We'll have Lance, who's on the blue team, who has six points. We'll have six, who will be Zeke. who is on the red team, and let me just take this space out. Okay, who will ha have three points. Let's get rid of all the spaces. Okay, so there's our data set, okay? Because the cool thing is you can import the CSV into a whole new table, and it'll automatically create this table for us. So I'm gonna open up my database, so SQLite3, and then the name of the database, first.db, because again, that's the name of the file that we that it created for us with our database. Okay, so see now I'm back in SQLite 3. So again, I got to make sure I change my mode to CSV before I import the CSV file. And then I want to say dot import teams dot CSV into a table called teams. Okay, and success. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mode to table so we can see the data in the nice table format. And then say select all from teams and let's take a look at how it looks like oops forget the semicolon and there you go see our data looks sort of the way we would expect our data to look that looks very nice cool so that's pretty neat that's another again quick way for us to kind of just bring data in um so now the next thing i want to do is I, what i want to do is figure out all the points for the blue team and then all the points for the red team so what I'm going to do is I want to select team and I want to select the sum of their points. Okay. From teams, that's the table. Okay. And then I want to group the data group by team. I want to group it by team. So that way it shows me like the points for one team. So what it'll do is it'll, when I say group by, since it gives, I'm asking for the sum of points, it's going to take all the people from the same team, put them as one entry with the mathematical result of this function. There's like a handful of them, but again, like think sum, it's going to add them up together. Uh, average, AVG, which is going to give me the average score. So if I do this, I should get, and there we go. So see blue team ended up winning. 
they have 22 points red team ended up losing now what if i wanted to know sort of what was the 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 average score the average score that team members on one team versus the other made so i can just do like select team and i want to select some point well actually not some points i want to do average points but see like the way that displays it says some points in the previous query and it's kind of ugly so if you want to actually display under a nicer name you can use the as keyword this allows you to take something and rename it you can pretty much use it anywhere and rename anything okay so i can say average points as mm -mm -mm. select team average points and i want to call this as as average points um, from teams that's where I'm getting the data from and I want to group it by team and see now see the field is called average points okay so now when we look at the blue team blue team also has a higher average points than the red team okay as far as the average by player um, and then you can do the same thing for minimum, like what's the, the lowest score that someone scored on the each team. So that would be min, M-I-N. Then there'd be max for maximum. Um, and there's other functions, but the idea is you can do all these kind of fun functions that get aggregated data. So imagine um, you're looking at sales data for a quarter and you want to kind of figure out what's your average sale. What is the total amount of sales you have for the quarter? What was your biggest sale for the quarter? Um, aggregates or aggre aggregation functions like this allow you to do that with your data and again we want to make sure that our columns look nice so we can rename columns so as we do these kind of special columns we can rename them like so okay so that is aggregates in sql and how we can use them to to do cool useful stuff uh, my name is alex merced from alexmercedcoder.com i uh, will see you guys in the next video have a great day and enjoy you know, go make some sample data, go play with it, have fun.